how do you communicate what was here is the challenge. And how do you communicate that in this beauty, and it's a beautiful place, that 800,000 people were killed? It's one thing to stand in the classroom and to teach about the Holocaust. It's another thing to be in Auschwitz. It's another thing to be in Majdanek, to see the things themselves. Seeing it, smelling it, feeling it, you can describe the nuances, and that's what books can't do. Books can't be nuanced. The idea of the seminar here in Poland is to enrich the teachers, fill their database, make an experiential trip, re-motivate them, they can bring things back with them. We're talking about 375,000 people in an area of 375 acres. We also want to open up all kinds of educational ideas different approaches to the subject of teaching the Holocaust. There was really no selection here. The pure purpose was to kill the people in less than a year. We try to bring a survivor with us. We have an amazing man, Howard Chandler, who accompanies us and we go to his hometown. On a Tuesday, October the 27th, 1942, all the Jews had to move out and assemble in this market square. To hear his story and to retrace his steps is something that in five to 10 years, we won't be able to do because that generation will be gone. It'll be up to us as educators to do this. The underlying assumption is that the Holocaust is not just a Jewish story, not just a Jewish tragedy, but it's a human tragedy, it's a global one. I am challenged to go back and do something wonderful for not only my students in my school district or in my classroom, but in the community. From my perspective, it's important to show what a thin layer civilization really is and how easy, how simple it is to peel back that layer and to get to a very evil and dark place. doesn't matter if we're Jewish or non-Jewish, like myself being non-Jewish, I feel a greater responsibility to make sure that this never happens to these people again. It seems like we've been here a year. We've done so much. It gives you way more questions than answers. On the one hand, I feel a little guilty like having fun. But on the other hand, to celebrate life seems like a really good thing to be doing right now. I've been on other tours and I haven't seen any that has been as well defined and well designed as this program. If you have ideas that are not in the brochure, we can also make it happen. Dr. Boer I mean, brings something to this program that makes this study seminar unique and exceptional. To study history where it happened is I think pertinent to anyone's study of any types of history, but certainly the Holocaust. <laughs>